All right, greetings all. Today we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at uh, where clothing comes from. I had the pleasure of seeing some crappy atheist bid uh, that makes fun of Adam and Eve in the garden and all that, and I noticed that they had the black boxes, you know, covering because the Adam and Eve were naked back there in the garden, and that just dawned on me, yeah, where does where do clothes come from? And after a bit of research, I, I've come to find out that nobody knows. Um, so anyways, with this atheist vid, I, I made a comment that you're, you're making fun of Adam and Eve, but you're also proving the Genesis account by putting black boxes on them, because there isn't any reason that people should have any shame and nudity, right? I mean, if we're all just monkeys that have been wandering around for a hundred thousand years or whatever they want to say, um, where did people figure out how to put clothes on and why did they decide it was necessary? You go back to the most ancient uh, civilizations and their little pictographs, they're all wearing clothes. Uh, You go off into these remote tribes in the jungles and stuff like that, they're all wearing some type of clothing. Granted, some of it is more or less decorative, it's not really functional to hide shame, but it's clothing in that region. Where do they decide they needed to do that? Um, And I comment as, as such on this video and The response I got was someone who's really smart and actually probably pretty learned in it, but he comes up with the Zingi tribe or whatever. And that was his whole basis of his argument that, see, well, these people here, they don't really wear anything. And that's that's proof that uh, people uh, didn't always wear clothes, that we were all just like the Zingi. And uh, in researching it, I found that really they're the only guys out there running around naked. Everybody else has clothing. And the Zingi aren't really naked either. I think that they're taking a lot of pictures when they're performing uh, special ceremonies and things like that. And, you know, all these tribes running around, they're all voodoo cults. They're all pagans, which means they're probably a sex cult of some sort. Um, And it's probably part of their religious ceremony. That's all these pagan guys are all into that. And that's probably when they decided to snap the picture. Um Who knows if they walk around like that, but even if they do, I looked up the uh, statistics on the Zingi, and it's it's one group of people, and there's four different tribes, and I think the biggest one has 3,000 people in it. So in total, you've got about 5,000 people in the entire planet that have always run around naked, and everybody else has always come up with, has clothes. So, um, isn't it more likely that uh, everybody always wore clothes? You know, isn't it, to me, I mean, it just says that that's more proof for the Bible. Because no one can seem to figure out when we decided we were going to wear clothes. It doesn't make any sense from an evolutionary standpoint. Why do we wear clothing over our uh, junk? I'll just refer to it as junk. There isn't any reason to wear clothing there particularly, because we'd have to keep taking it on and off every time we use the toilet. So if we're going to wear clothing anywhere, it's going to be everywhere but there, if we're just animals running around, right? You know, kind of like the baboons and stuff. Um, That's the only place they don't have any fur. It only makes sense from an evolutionary standpoint. Um, And that's the only place we have fur, I might add. So, well, in the top of our heads. But anyways, you get the point that I'm saying. Um, But you can go back through ancient Sumeria, uh, through the Egyptians. They're always depicted as wearing clothes. And even, you know, the ancient... uh, depictions of their little pornographic rituals and whatnot, they're still wearing clothes. So where does this stuff come from? Uh, The only thing that I've ever heard as an evidence against the fact we've always worn clothes is the Zingi tribe, who again, you know, 5,000 people out of 7 billion people, they're not even, they're not anything. Um, You know, they're statistically an insignificant group of people. And I look at that as, What's more likely in that scenario is that you've got a group of people who just decide they're not going to wear clothes and it's socially acceptable within their group to to do that. Um, and a lot of these pictures with the people where they have, you know, people doing research on them or whatever they're doing there, most of the time they're covering themselves when they're getting their pictures taken because, you know, that's strange people. It's kind of like when you go to a nudist colony and you're wearing clothes, you know, you don't fit in with everybody else. And I, I think that's where a lot of this comes from, is that uh, uh, we've always worn clothes. There isn't any evidence to to suggest the contrary, except this Zingi tribe, and there probably is a couple others out there, but isn't it 
slightly more likely that uh, they just decided, much like a nudist colony, that they're not going to wear clothes and it's going to be acceptable to them. Because really, uh, some of these tribes are just a group of people who decided to go off and do their own thing and break away from the larger tribe. So they're kind of just like a family. Um, so yeah, where did clothes come from? I've, I've cert- researched it a bit here and uh, nobody seems to know, but they all want to put forward this idea that uh, modern man's been around for 100 to 200,000 years and uh, they can't uh, seem to verify where we decided we're going to wear clothes. Everyone, you know, that we dig up is buried in clothes. The Sumerian depictions, all the, everyone's got clothes. And in the discussion that I had with this person on the on the video, he's like, well, yeah, you know, there are advanced societies that come together and then clothing was required or whatever. They decided clothing was a good idea for status or whatever. And I pointed out the fact, um, so you're saying that when you have an advanced society that develops things like geometry and mathematics, clothing also becomes, is required as part of that knowledge. And I said, you know, that kind of sounds like a story I heard back there in the Bible. It was when people got their knowledge, they got the math and got all that stuff, and then they figured out they were naked. That just makes more sense to me. Being that no one can point back at any kind of depictions of, you know, cavemen running around naked, um, I don't know. There isn't anything chiseled in stone anywhere. Um, we dig up lots of houses and lots of people in boxes and lots of people mummified and uh, lots of depictions of people in loincloths. And people will say that, well, you know, uh, because of their environment, you know, you'd need to wear clothes to protect you from the bugs and you need to keep warm and all this and all that's that's all fine and everything. But people have also always had houses of some sort. Um, granted, some people did live in caves because it's a natural dwelling. It's, you know, the most secure things that you could live in. Um, but some people live in teepees and tents and they still wear clothes. You know, it's warm in the tent. You got a fire going. So I really haven't seen any explanation as to why when uh, we get home from work, we just don't, you know, some people will strip down to, you know, any of the boxers or something like that. But you know, why, just, why don't people just go the whole way? It doesn't make any sense. Um, there is, It's because there is a natural... Uh, nakedness, shame built in there that is innate, just like the Ten Commandments and all that written on your heart. Everyone knows murder's bad, lying's bad, and all that stuff. Everyone knows being naked is uh, shameful. It's built into people. Doesn't matter what culture you're from. Um, even the old, the old zingu or whatever that people want to trump up there, they don't like being looked at by people that aren't part of their clan either. So as it sits, it looks like we have kind of a problem when we want to say that uh, clothing was kind of a learned learned tribute as as per getting civilizations together and things like that. Um, yeah, you could see ceremonial stuff, and yeah, you could see, you know, if it's you live in the North Pole, you're going to be wearing some pretty thick clothing. Uh, but when you get back into your little tent, you ain't going to be wearing the big, thick clothing. Um, so... We're just putting that out there as another thing here that uh, seems to lend a little bit more credence to Genesis in the book of the Bible. As much as people don't want to take Genesis literally, how else do you explain clothing? And you can look up ancient artwork in Google Images and you see a bunch of people with clothes on. Um, unless they're doing some kind of a ceremony or something that's going to be depicted um, as such in the in the inscription or whatever they're doing. Um, as to how a ceremony is performed. But for the most part, if it's just some guy doing something, he's going to be wearing clothes. Um, just all there is to it. And I might add that, you know, they're also doing pretty sophisticated ge- geometry and mathematics at the same time. Seemed like all at once we got all this knowledge. Hmm. Hmm. And then, you know, we're going to do a, a study here coming up that's going to be on... Uh, where are all the people if we've been around for 200,000 years? We should literally be walking on uh, billions of dead bodies, but that's for another day. Um, with this one, we're just going to do the uh, do the old clothing. The old clothing, and uh, I also found out with the oldest known illustrations, um, we also have circumcision, which is kind of an interesting thing. It, they dated at 2400 BCE, so... 4,500 years ago, you got circumcision going on, and it looks like this is an Egyptian uh, picture. Most of the best pictures are from Egypt. Egypt. 
And they they mention in here that they've been digging people up that they date at 4000 BCE um, and see that they were actually practicing circumcision then. So I wonder who those people could be. Um, who, do you, who do you think those guys are? Do you, do you think that the pagan gods told them to uh, to do that to themselves? Or do you think that they actually worshipped the real god at one point in time? Maybe it had something to do with old Abraham there, maybe? Maybe? And just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. I'll add that those people were wearing uh, clothing also. 